this amino acid it actually it can ionizes itself and it can have or uh, it can exist like this C double O negative and NH3 positive whenever amino acid exists in this form this is called zwitter ion and the pH or the physiological pH at which point are this uh, this amino acid is existing as a zwitter ion that pH is referred as isoelectric point that pH is referred as isoelectric point now this structure this whole structure is actually zwitter ion because amino exist amino acid it has positive as well as the negative side so that's why this one is called as zwitter ion and the pH are the point at which this zwitter ion forms that point is iso electric point at the physiological pH remember at the physiological pH if amino acid exists in this zwitter ion then at the, that point is referred as iso electric point now this amino acid is uh, amphoteric compound which means it can act as well as the positive as well as the negative or we can say that it can accept the proton it can donate the proton in other words you can say that it can behave as an acid it can behave as an base if this portion is working then it is behaving as an acid and if this portion is working then it is behaving as base so this is the general structure of the amino acid once again i am going to repeat so listen to me very carefully that the structural chemically it has it is composed of four elements carbon nitrogen hydrogen oxygen carbon and hydrogen and oxygen these are present in carbohydrates but if there is nitrogen then it is a nitrogen com nitrogenous compound and it is called as amino acids and uh, generally it has a central carbon which is called as alpha carbon it can also be called as chiral carbon it can be also called as asymmetric carbon why because it has four different groups what are those different groups carboxylic group amino group r group h group and in all amino acids you will find a common thing and what is that common uh, thing that is the carboxylic group amino group as well as h next and this asymmetric or chirality or the alpha carbon this make it uh, makes it optically active compound optically active means it can rotate the plane polarized light so this feature makes it optical optically active when it is optically active it either exists in deep form or in L form whenever it exists it rotate the plane polarized right toward the right word toward the right direction or right side it is called as texto rotatory and whenever it rotates the plane polarized light in the left side it is referred as levo rotatory and in our body the significant one is our the amino acids which are involved in the protein synthesis those are l form these are involved in protein synthesis in the body those are l form d form they also exist but they uh, these also exist but but these d form amino acids these are actually considered as non standard amino acids they do not code for any protein and they are not involved in any type of protein synthesis these are just derivative forms and body has to catabolize it or the body has to convert it into the l form so uh, the next thing is after this uh, after the feature or, or after the characteristic of this amino acid the optical active characteristic of this amino acid is this amino acid it can form zwitter ion what is a zwitter ion whenever it exists in the positive as well as negative form having zero charge 
at that time it is called as vitrine and the pH at the point at which it exists as vitrine that pH at the point is called as isoelectric point PI 